Everybody, what are we looking for? First question, what do we want? Did you forget about that? Your training? Read the question first. What is it that we want in this question? Can you tell me what we want? Okay, Jimmy, oil concentration. Duarte, oil concentration. Janae, oil concentration of the mixture, resulting mixture, oil concentration. What does that mean? Can you give me a math word that might be uh, hinted at? What does that represent? What do you mean? What does concentration mean? What does that mean? It might start with the letter P. It might be represented in the answer choices. What is it that we are looking for? Let's be very clear here. What are we looking for? A percent. We are looking for a certain percent. Everybody, before I continue, yes, oil concentration of the resulting mixture, that is absolutely correct. I'm just making sure that when you say that, you know what that means. Okay, <laughs> I want to make sure that you understand what oil concentration of the resulting mixture means. So first step, if we're thinking about this mathematically, the answer choices do a great job of graciously giving us the type of number we're looking for. And that is a percent. So do we agree, everybody, before I continue, we are looking for a percentage. Okay, great. Sounds good. Now, to be more specific, that percentage, like we said, represents the oil in the resulting mixture. So what we're looking for right over here, everybody, is the percent oil in the mixture. Remember, my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free. So go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. Okay, everybody. Sounds good. Now, here's the thing, everybody. If we wanted to find the percent of oil in the resulting mixture, if we're thinking purely in terms of the formulas that we've been used to using, let's actually write it out just to remind ourselves. Percent, oh Jesus, that's a little too skinny. There we go, percent times original equals result. So help me out, everybody. Help me out. Is it true, or not that is it true, but if we're looking for this right here, a percent, and that percent represents the oil in the mixture, what other thing here, original or result, which one of those other things would also represent the oil in the mixture? Which one of those would it be? Help me out. It's, it's almost like we just went over this. It's almost like we just went over this. Yeah, it's going to be the result. Remember, repeat after me. The percent that you apply is the result that you get. So what that means in its entirety is that, hey, if we're looking for this right here, the percentage of the mixture that is oil, then we, if we're trying to set up the formula, we should look to find out what the actual amount is of the oil in that mixture. Does that make sense, everybody? One possible way we could solve this, if we're looking for the percent of oil concentration, we might want to be looking for on the side the amount of the oil concentration, right? Cool. Now, now that we're done with that part, here's the second fundamental fact. And this fact is a lot easier to understand than this first one. I can guarantee you that right now. Let me tell you this right here. Everybody, we see that we're talking about, you know, this 50 millimeter solution contains this much oil mixed with uh, this solution that contains that much oil. Basically, everybody, is it true that we have we have, let's go ahead and say solution one, solution two. You combine them and you get the mixture. Is that fair, everybody? 
Is that fair? Can we simplify that? Because that sounds like a lot of jargon, a lot of gibberish. Basically, all that's saying is, hey, you got solution one, solution two. You add, you know, we mix them together, we add them together, and we get this uh, mixture. So, that's the fact. Here's the fact that I'm going to draw from that. The fact is this: is oil in solution one plus the oil in solution two equals the oil in the mixture. Is that a true statement, everybody? Is that a true statement? The oil in solution one plus the oil in solution two equals the total amount of oil in the mixture. Is that a factual statement? And I want everybody to respond. I want everybody to respond because I can guarantee you the moment that I expect some of you guys to have questions, I'm going to point it right back to this. I'm going to point it right back to this every single time. Okay, so let's let that sink in for a second. Let me move this over here. That way we don't hear that again. But don't worry. So don't worry here. Let's go ahead and just gather ourselves. I'm really excited to see how much of y'all are going to have this light bulb moment. Now, the following question is this. Let's see how we can use or how can we use the information we have to figure this out. Because everybody, I don't think that the problem, if we read through it, I don't think they actually tell you the amount of oil in solution one or the amount in solution two. Heck, they don't even tell you the amount in the mixture. So what do we need to do? Let's read over here. A 50 milliliter solution that contains 40% oil. Hmm is mixed with an 80 milliliter solution that contains 25% oil. Hmm, look at that. In solution one, they didn't give you the amount of oil, they gave you the percentage of oil. For solution two, they don't give you the amount of oil, they give you the percentage of oil. Everybody, think about it. If we wanted to find how much oil was in solution one, couldn't we use the percent? of oil in solution one? Couldn't we use this right here, the 50 milliliters, 40% of the 50 is oil? Couldn't we use that? Couldn't we use that? Yeah, we could do that. We could do that to find the amount of oil in solution one. How about with solution two? Same idea, right here. 80 milliliters contains 25% oil, so that's 25% of 80. I can plug that in right there to find out the amount of oil too. Boom, I got what I need. And then I can just replace this right over here with the same thing, the same formula. Percent times the original equals the amount of oil in one. Percent times the original equals the amount of oil in two. Percent times the original equals the amount of oil in three. Everybody, is this making a little more sense to you or do you need to see it actually written out? Is this making a little more sense or are we still seeing saying that we need to see this? Okay, about half and half. Good, okay. So let's go ahead and really partition this and show this on paper here. So allow me to just make some more room just in case. One moment, guys. Right there. That should definitely be more than enough space. So allow me to just copy this and really lead the way. Okay, right there, that's great. Okay, cool. So let me write this out for you. Let me zoom in. So the oil in solution one, again, think about it like this, percent times original equals the result. So right here, this is the result. If we're thinking about the percent times the original, this right here is gonna be 50 milliliters. That's the original amount and that's the percents. 40% of it is oil. So I'm gonna say 40% of 50, right here. Percent times original, that's 40% of 50 milliliters. Everybody is that making a little more sense there. What we're doing is instead of writing the result, 
to find out what that is, I'm just gonna do the percent times the original. Then I'm gonna figure out what that is to plug it in. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the second, do the same thing for the third, and it's really gonna play out nice and smooth. Just allow me a few moments to actually set up the math and do it, and I promise you, you're gonna see how it all comes together at the end. But the main part of this is, again, when we're talking about a result one plus result two, well, you can go ahead and say that that is the percent times the original there, percent times original here, because we're talking about percents. Here we go. Oil in solution two, let's figure out what that's gonna be here. Let me use green. Everybody, what do we have for the original amount for solution two? What do we have? What's the original? Great. Yep, that's gonna be 80. We're told that the original amount of solution two, 80 milliliters. And then what is the percent in solution two? What is the percent in solution two? Right, that's gonna be 25%, nice and easy. So let's go ahead and now copy that down here. Again, the percent times the original is gonna give us the result right here. But this result, again, is gonna be 25% of 80 milliliters. Great. Now here's the final part. This is the trickiest part. So pay careful attention here so you don't get confused. Everyone, what information do we have about the oil in the mixture? What information do we have? Like the, about the combination. What do we know about the combination? Do they give us the original amount of that combination? Do they give us the percent of that combination? Do they give us the amount of that combination? Do they give us anything at all? Do they give us anything? Did we, so basically what I'm asking is, did we highlight all the numbers already? Yeah, we already highlighted all the numbers. We highlighted the, the 50, the 40%, the 80, the 25%. There's nothing else there. And this is the part where so many people get confused. But remember everybody, what are we talking about? We're talking about a mixture. So everybody, how do you obtain a mixture? What do we do with solution one and solution two to get the mixture? Yes, we added them. So when you're asking, hey everybody, guess what? We're looking for the percent. That's right there. Those are the answer choices. I am looking for the percent. But what is that percent of, everybody? What is the combination of 50 milliliters and 80 milliliters? When we put those together, what is the total amount of that mixture? Yeah, 130. So that's what happens there. 50 and the 80, that's going to come together to give you 130 milliliters inside of that mixture. Does that make sense, everybody? All the, only, the easy way to go ahead and get the original amount or the total amount of the mixture is to add what's in one and two. And that's it. And that's it. Now that you've set this up like this, it takes a lot of thinking and you've got to understand how percentages work. But once you get here, it is really smooth sailing. Because right here, watch. Let's do the math. We are literally here saying 40% times 50 plus 25% times 80 equals X percent times 130. My as bad party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. 
I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. That's your equation and watch how straightforward it is now. First, start off 40% times 50. I'll put that decimal place right there. We have 0 times 0, 5 times 0, nothing happens. Then we have 0 times 4, then 5 times 4, then we have 2,000. But everybody, how many decimal places are we moving back? We're moving back two decimal places. So that's going to end up being 1, 2, 1, 2. So that right here, this becomes 20. So that is the amount of oil in that first solution. That's what that 20 represents. Now let's take a look at the second one here. We have 25% of 80, so I can do the math right down over here. If you know your mental math, you know that this is gonna be 20 as well, but let's go ahead and plug it all in. Zero times five, eight times five, that's gonna be 40. Bring down a zero. Zero times two, eight times two, and that's gonna be 16. Add this all up, and then we have ourselves 2,000. But everybody, how many decimal places do we bring it back by? We bring it back by two. So that's going to be, again, one, two, one, two. But nonetheless, what color was that? Uh, green. So, yep. Boom. Plus another 20 equals whatever X percent times 130 was. Everybody, what's 20 plus 20? Hardest question of the day. Okay, 40, great. We got 40 equals X times 130. Everybody, is this solvable? Is this possible to solve? What are we supposed to do? We did all this work, we got to this point, this might be a lot easier than the other steps. So what's the one thing we need to do to both sides here? And again, the X and 130 are being multiplied. So how do we work backwards to get the X by itself? That's right, my party people. We've got to divide on both sides. And remember to always include that both sides argument because you don't want to get lazy with the way that you talk about it so we can stay uh, focused in terms of uh, those pressure moments. But right here, divide 130 on both sides. And there you have it. Boom. Now all we need to do, all that's left, is to figure out what 130 into 40 is. So let's try this out. 130 can't go into four, can't go into 40. It could go into 400. How many times can 130 go into 400? Think about 13 into 40. How many times can 130 go into 400? How many times do you think? Yeah, yep, gonna be three. And if you need proof on that, no worries, I got you. You can say, hey, 130, times four, or times three, excuse me, just to try it out. Zero times three, three times three, one times three. 390 is pretty close. 390 is pretty close. So we'll go ahead and put point three right there. Subtract 390. We've got ourselves a remainder of 10. We'll bring back, or bring down the zero. Everybody, can 130 go into 100? Nope, it cannot. So we got 0 0.30. Let's see if any of these answer choices matched out already. Which answer choice is it? Yeah, D is the only one. D is the only one that went three, zero right there. That's the only one we could have kept going, but we don't need to anymore. We don't need to anymore. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.